This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollar. Let's talk a little bit about the problem Republicans have right now relative to their impeachment sham of Joe Biden, their absolute evidence-free <laughs> effort here that they're putting on. It is all it is is an election season uh, boost for for MAGA Republicans. It's it's an effort to to bring turnout to an all time high for their voters to motivate them when they've presented zero evidence of anything. All they've brought to the table is innuendo and allegation. And then they predicate the need for the investigation on their allegations that they are not backed up by evidence. I mean, that's, it's just a, it's a, it's a vicious cycle of stupid. I'm gonna read a little bit from this political article, and then I have the actual memo in reference here about during Donald Trump's term, the Office of Legal Counsel, it's a division of the Department of Justice, they wrote this 53-page memo saying that unless a full House vote takes place on impeachment, their subpoenas are meaningless and the Department of Justice and the FBI aren't going to be helping relative to the investigation. But here's the political headline. How Donald Trump's DOJ gave Biden a major assist in the coming impeachment probe. The department's 2020 opinion around Trump's impeachment trial could place some serious constraints on House Republicans now. Joe Biden has a literal Trump card to play against the House's new impeachment inquiry. Come on. Goofy. Stupid. What is this? Dad joke extraordinaire? In January 2020, the Donald Trump-led Justice Department formally declared that impeachment inquiries by the House are invalid unless the chamber takes formal votes to authorize them. That opinion, issued by the Justice Department's Office of Legal Counsel, came in response to then-House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's decision to launch an impeachment inquiry into Trump without initially holding a vote for it. Not only is it still on the books— it is binding on the current administration as it responds to Tuesday's announcement by Speaker Kevin McCarthy to authorize an impeachment inquiry into Biden, again, without a vote. Engel's opinion was aimed at diffusing an article of impeachment Democrats had filed against Trump, accusing him of obstructing the House's inquiry by encouraging his administration officials to defy congressional subpoenas. The charge was one of two approved by the House in December 2019, setting the stage for Trump's January 2020 impeachment trial. Trump was ultimately acquitted in a nearly party-line vote. And if you remember, they say nearly party-line vote because a Republican, Mitt Romney, did join with Democrats to vote to convict Donald Trump. Trump's impeachment attorneys revealed the secret DOJ opinion in papers submitted as part of their trial defense in the Senate. Now, that opinion could carry significant ramifications as Republicans embark on an impeachment inquiry into Biden. Once again, Donald Trump is stepping on his own. He's stepping on it. <laughs> So here is the House Committee's authority to investigate for impeachment. This is uh, dated January 19, 2020. This is Donald Trump's Justice Department's Office of Legal Counsel. The same division in the, um, in the Department of Justice that came up with the opinion, the legal opinion, not a ruling, that you cannot indict a sitting president during Nixon's administration. So this is what it says on page 53 and 54. For the reasons set forth above, and here, as always, I will put a link to this very 53-page, 54-page document in the description if you want to read along for yourself, if you want to have this as a reference, but this is what their conclusion was. If you want to look at what, the, what predicated their particular uh, conclusion was this. For the reasons set forth above, we conclude that the House must expressly authorize a committee to conduct an impeachment investigation and to use compulsory process in that investigation before the committee may compel the production of documents or testimony in support of the House's sole power of impeachment. U.S. Constitution, Article 1, Section 2, Clause 5. 
the House had not authorized such an investigation in connection with the impeachment-related subpoenas issued before October 31, 2019, and the subpoenas therefore had no compulsory effect. The House's adoption of Resolution 660 did not alter the legal status of those subpoenas because the resolution did not ratify them or otherwise address their terms. Stephen A. Engel, Assistant Attorney General, Office of Legal Counsel. So what this means is, in layman terms, is the House can't just announce, according to this particular memo, which is binding, um, that the House can't just impeach Joe Biden or start an impeachment inquiry with, with uh, subpoenas that have teeth that are valid unless they put the matter to a vote on the entire House floor, just like Democrats did. That what this memo is saying is any subpoenas issued before the full House vote weren't valid. So now the House, because there's a lot of Republicans who are not down with this, um, moderates or less radical Republicans, they would have to come on board for an impeachment vote. And I, I just don't see that happening. Now, Kevin McCarthy's in a spot right now where he made a deal to try to keep the government open um, because of budget battles, funding battles, and he, he made a deal with the devil, with Chip Roy and the rest of these idiots in the Freedom Caucus, that if they impeach Joe Biden, they will be able to come to a deal. Now, they're saying not, not a deal. They're saying, nope, we're not going to do that. We're still going to shut down the government, even if we get what we want on this other angle, because they are not serious people. This entire investigation isn't serious. I have chronicled it from the beginning that we're going to have a meeting in 12 days and it's going to be a bombshell. There's no bombshell. We're going to bring you evidence. Then there's no evidence. We have a whistleblower. Oh, wait, the whistleblower's gone. We have an informant. Oh, where is he? We don't know where the informant is. It's just been a circus from day one with James Comer and Jim Jordan and Jim Banks and the rest of these idiots. It's a three-ring circus of idiocy with Kevin McCarthy as the uh, the circus leader, the ring leader, and they're getting to nothing. They are showing nothing. But what would you expect? What should we expect from Republicans who have no ideas for America? All they have and all they bring is chaos. Day after day after day, week after week, chaos. No solutions, no policy, chaos. Anyway, what do you think? I'd love to know. You can call, leave me a brief voicemail, 714-576-4054. Of course, you can email me, as always, daily at dollamore.com. If you appreciate what I do and you want to help take a part in what we do here, help support and produce the work we do here, which I feel is important. And if you do as well, click the join button below, become a channel member for $2 a month right here on YouTube. You can click the super thanks button or... If you're already given to another creator on Patreon or you want to see what Patreon's about, go to patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast and support our work there. Follow me on social media. I'm at Dollamore everywhere. Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, threads, Facebook, at Dollamore. I'd love to see you there. Uh, I'll see you next time as we continue to follow this. Be genuine. Take care of one another.